Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to do a fun, very fluid, continuous line drawing using Autodesk Sketchbook. We're going to use these drawings in class to do some fun paintings. So let's get started with a very simple line sketch. We're going to create a new sketch and we're going to use 2400 by 3000. If you can't write your numbers, you've got to click this unlock button in order to make that work. Now I've got my sketch. We're going to use this little sign here that has the mountains and a plus sign and bring in a photograph. I'm going to use a simple photo of a face. By squeezing in and out, we can adjust the size. I'm going to bring this opacity down just a little bit so that I'll be able to see my line drawing much easier. And I'm going to create a blank layer that will go on top of the face. Remember that this should be one of the top layers here. I'm going to be using this pen tool right here, the fountain pen, at about a size 5. That will give us a nice clean line. And in order to make sure that our lines, when we're drawing sometimes we have a little shake to our line. And on Autodesk Sketchbook, if you use predictive stroke, that will give a little bit of a correction. If you do, if it's up too high, it will do a complete straight line. But if you do about a two, it will give you a cleaner and clean up some of the shake. All right, I'm going to use the, this back, but you can also use three fingers and go backwards for undo. And now I'm going to start doing a continuous line. Just like we talked about in class, a continuous line is a line that does not break. But sometimes when we're drawing on our iPads, the line has to break in order for us to change the way our hand is moving or how close we are into a photograph. So I'm going to show you how to connect that line as you're moving through your face. So I'm going to choose to start by his eyebrow. And I'm going to imagine that one line is connecting each of these features, just like we show, I showed you in class. So though there isn't a line there, I created one. I'm following it along for the eyeball, using a way to connect through the eyelid, through the nostril. All right, well, that's as far as I can go. If you give it a second, your Autodesk should clean up your line for you. Let's turn this off, and you can see that that line is still there. So now I'm going to go to where that line left off and continue the rest. Imagining that this line continues all the way through here. If I have to lift my pencil, I pick it back up where I left off. If I start to pick up my pen and start to draw again, I can come back and clean this line up. Zooming in, using my pen to create a nice clean connection, but also using my eraser, I'll bring it down even smaller and use that to just clean up the edge here. Go back to my fountain pen and continue the line. So if you ever have to break it, that's how you can make it a nice clean one. I'm gonna go down here connect his mouth, and up at the top. All right, so I've been done with some of the main facial features. I'm gonna turn this off and take a look. This is a really fun drawing, but there are some places where I want to clean up some of this line. So I'll go through and use my eraser and switch back and forth between my eraser and my pen to make sure this is a nice, smooth, clean line. What I'm doing right now is I'm looking around, looking at a clean line, and maybe there are some lines that I want to add 
a little bit of a thicker edge too. So they stand out more. This is called an implied line. And we're implying that there's a little bit of a shadow in this spot. Just a little refining before we, before we print them. And there you have it. A fun, fluid, continuous line drawing. So practice this a couple times using Autodesk Sketchbook to create some really cool base line drawing layers. We're going to use these in a variety of ways in the classroom, but they're a really fun, more abstract way of looking at a line drawing.